Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. This time with the historical track. The last two missions. Uh, I guess all of these could be useful. Um, for both of these we're having 30th core which is I guess completely upgraded. I don't really see any reason. Yeah. All right. Elegela, December 12, 1942. After Stefania Alamein, the torch landings in Morocco and Algeria uh, forced Rommel to give up any ideas of serious delaying actions in Cyrenaica. Instead, the tattered remains of the Africa Corps conducted a month long retreat that did not stop until they reached positions near Elegela. Here, the landscape offered only a narrow avenue of advance near the coast. But as is often the case in North Africa, the desert flank was open and provided Montgomery's 8th Army with an ideal opportunity for an end run. We have to, ca have to capture Sokna. It's a bit of a weird name for me to pronounce. I'm probably doing it wrong. Rommel has lost most of his infantry in the retreat from El El Main. But remains of his force are mostly small lead groupings, the leftover of his shattered mobile divisions. Here at El Aguila, the terrain allows for such a relatively small force to make a stand, as the all-important coastal road runs through a series of train bottlenecks. Consequently, MEC advises against an immediate frontal assault along the coast. Rather, the desert further inland offers ideal terrain for a flanking move by your forces. The enemy will likely retreat if threatened by such a, such a push. Legela 4, Dor Lanouf 5, Sokna, wow. 8, Marada track here. Marada 3, Bir El Mer Duma, damn these names. Ophelia 7, and Zella turn 7 as well. Mm. Oop. And there. No. It sucks that I have to redo a lot at that point. Like, literally everything. Did I buy a special ship for them? Hmm. Let's try that again. Take that. Buy the bishop. Take your Daimler. Give you this, this, this. Take your. Oh, no. Take your engineers. Thanks, game. Daimler. Take these. Take these. 40 left. Infantry. Infantry. Yeah, so then I'm not buying a mechanized step for you, but I'd rather have them at full strength. I'm going to use these guys further down. Mm, that's probably not. Oh, okay, that's the actual furthest. Okay. Um. them in supply okay so this can only be empty I'm gonna move you down that road as well um, Do 
just like you. I don't think they're gonna attack there that likely they might try it on them. Uh, let's just move you down. Despite what they're saying, I feel like I have to push here regardless. Kinda sucks that do more than that. It is actually pretty frustrating if... Come on. Uh, for crying out loud. that down there because uh. now I already have to place one here uh, that did not go well Super frustrating getting bad rolls on El Gala. Come on. These guys definitely need to go. That wasn't an overrun. Mm. They'll be out of supply for one turn only. Right. <laughs> what the 
heck was that? Okay, um, let's see here then. I need to... Of course, he just barely cannot get in, right? I don't need to hold it. But... No, that also does not cut them off. Conveniently. No matter what you do, you can't cut them off on turn 3, eh? I guess maybe if you have a demolition card. What a weird map. Let's uh, attack. Uh, I'm not gonna get those points. So, and this is trash. So, I mean, I, uh, <laughs> I need to kill them. be able to move up anyway. How are those supplies? Reasonable enough. Um, I would almost say I hope they won't remove that, but I'm, I'm sure they will. Right. There is no chance of you getting supplies there. None of these guys can get that. Um, let's see. I don't want them to lose logistics, or at least those kind of logistics. It doesn't matter if they're out of supply for three turns. That's fine. I think. I'm not taking any chances. If it's a 90% chance, I'm not going to go for it. Cut off. Oh shit, I need to take this too. I completely forgot. Um, please retreat. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Jeez, I had to use all my freaking cards too. Uh, 
There are no enemy supply markers here, so they are definitely empty. Jeez, what a terrible mission. What I find actually often is that the um, historical track is actually harder than the ahistorical, which is super weird, um, but that is actually <laughs> the case and yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that. but. Like in this mission, this mission, I feel if you want to get everything, like, you really need a lot of extra stuff here. I mean, I had a couple of bad rolls there too, especially at Elagela. Mm. Because, uh,. Yeah, I, because of that, I needed to use these extra air attacks. Okay, that's that's it. End the scenario. Damn. That was... Uh, really rough. Now I have no cards for the final mission, except uh, air support, or the <laughs> dropping that air stuff. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.